Hey what's up coders, welcome back to my channel. So this is the continuation of the simple folding silk widget. So in a previous video series I covered how to create this front widget and also add a content to it, into it. So today I'm going to show you how to add content inside your flipping cell. So I'm going to make it very simple because you know that it's it's just a combination of text and icon. So I'm just going to inst in explain you the bone structure of it and you can fill the content into it so the second uh, factor which was the flipping cell was the inner top widget and the bottom widget so i'm going to cover these two sections in this video so in, in the inner top widget what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a container so this is how the structure looks like so the structure is it's basically a container it's a container with your heading and that's the heading which says details and uh, if you want i can just show you how it looks so you can understand okay this this section is your details this container and inside your other container you have a row with two container one for the icon and one for the text that is what this title section is all about so you can find this it's in it's enclosed in a container with a row in two containers so similar way you can do it for the duration which is the second one and for the room and for the priority so i'm going to quickly add the content and show you how it looks well i've quickly built it using the text and icons and if i click on the cell I can see the details filled up in the fashion that I have created it. Now moving on to the third uh, section, I have created the bone structure of it which is inside the inner bottom widget. So I'm just going to add the structure into it. So it's basically a column which has the first container as your title and inside my second container I need the pictures in the circle avatar which is next to each other. So what I'll do is first I'll create a container and inside the container since I want it next to each other it would be inside a row and inside the rows I can create as many profiles or container profiles I want. So this way you can get uh, the number of people who are attending the meeting and the last one is another container with a button. So it could be a flat button or it could be a raised button and it's your choice. So this is how the structure comes. So finally, I'm going to add all this and show you the final product. So there you go. This is the final product. So when I click on the cell, you can see that it shows the first column and the row of profiles and your reminder. Now, I just have one particular cell. I can, in fact, add more containers with different text. So if just for the demo purpose, I'm just going to copy this container and uh, refresh it and just do a hot restart and show you so you get another cell with the same data because i've used the same um, first container details you can change it and um, let's see the second container there you go so you can see two cells and if you click on the second cell you can see the same details because it's still referring the same values so this is how you create a simple folding cell using list view and add content into it hope you like this video series give it a like and do subscribe and if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i'll get back to you thank you